そのつもりなら少し痛い目を見てもらいましょうか。Should you watch Summon to Another World for the second time? You know, normally I can sit here and really tell you if you should watch an anime based off of episode one. If you've been around on the channel for a while, as most of you have, if you haven't, hey, what's up? I'm Dom. I'm from the Otaku Room. I do weekly reviews of anime. Watch too much anime and offer a lot of opinions. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. But basically, I always say hey, episode one is the anime studio's best foot forward. It's where most of the budget should go, it's where most of the direction should go. It should be the thing to hook the viewer. So if an episode one doesn't hit, that's a bad sign. And if an episode one does hit, then that's a good sign for you to have enough motivation to come back and watch the anime. Now, a lot of people say, like, oh, you gotta watch more than that. You gotta, you know, consume more episodes. Like, well, that's not really true, especially if you think about it in Japan, where they are in a cyclical cycle where, you know, they come on at sometimes 12 30, 1 in the morning, you know. And episode number one needs to be incredible for you to stay up to 1 30 a.m. I haven't stayed up to 1 30 a.m. in a couple of years now. I'm getting old. And a lot of people in Japan are that too, even the people who are really dedicated to watching anime. So you have to think about it from that, that, that kind of that way. So when it comes to this episode, Summon to Another World for the first time, this was a really mild, it was a good, But mild episode number one. And I really struggle to sit here and say, no, you shouldn't watch it, or no, you should watch it. This is one of those times that I'm going to sit here and say, I really think that this is an anime that we truly do need to give it another episode or maybe two. We, we, we might need to do、uh, the three episode rule here. We might need to do two episodes. And I really don't think that episode one was enough. Now, here's what I will say about episode number one. Is I think it did a good job of introducing us to Yuki, the character who is formerly known as Setsu. And apparently, he was the hero from, you know, from a long time ago. He was summoned to another world and he saved the world. So he was from, it, the way it sounds, is he was from like Japan, the original world. He was summoned to this world. He saved the world, became really well known, really well renowned. And at the last battle where he, he defeated the big bad, Uh, some big blast went off and he was yeeted back to Japan, but as a baby. And now he spent 15 or 16 years in Japan once again. And now he's re summoned to this world. The cool thing is, ever since he was、uh, ma- you know, reincarnated into Japan, he kept all of his powers and magic and abilities and everything he had before. So when he transferred back here, he's basically starting off where he left off. So he's lost really nothing outside of probably just you know, maybe like a little bit of practice because he just hasn't used his stuff in a while. But he hasn't really lost any power. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. So what it did, it, it established a, a premise. It established a character in Yuki and slash Yuki slash Setsu. It gave us a decent story about reincarnation and transportation.、Uh, it did some decent. You know,、uh, I, you know what? I would give this one, I would say it did less than decent world building because we really don't know what's going on in this world. They were kind of all over the place. Like it, it let us know that demons and humans are feuding. It let us know that the. The person that was leading the demons before Yuki slash Setsu were, has defeated, it seems that he kind of knows him and kind of has some kind of feelings towards him. So he might not necessarily hate him. And when he was getting ready to, you know, it, before he saved the world,、uh, he wanted humans and demons to coexist and get along. So we know all of that stuff. But outside of that, we don't really know much else. So it did okay at world building. Uh, it gave us a, a, a decent plot line of what's going to happen moving forward. He needs to go and save the world again. He needs to go and figure out what's going on with the demons. Is it that guy that you know, still lived that's causing a, a muck and a ruckus? Is it something else? You know? It also established a really good、um, childhood friend in Yuha as well. Now, the, the few things I didn't like about the episode is the king and the queen or whatever were very gung ho about the kids being foreign heroes. Now, it's not like they summon them, 
but they realize that they're foreign heroes, which is very weird, essentially. It's like, well, how do you really know? Like, these kids just kind of showed up in a field, but I guess they look different, so that's how you put two and two together. So, you know, they know that they're foreign heroes, and they're now going to teach them magic and stuff, and they're going to be heroes to save the land. And they, they see that as an omen from God. So very weird stuff here. So, again, a very mild episode. And there was nothing here that was, like, really incredible. But there's nothing that was really bad either. Um, the funny parts of it, too, was that uh, he did... I like how their one girl that was there before, I think her name was Elka. I do like how she suddenly realized who he was via a ass slap. I thought that was pretty funny. So that was probably like the funny moment of of the episode so far. So again, let me take it back. Should you watch it? This one's kind of a hard recommend. I think there is so many different anime, you know, let alone, you know, yesterday, you know, or depending when you're watching this video, you know, on Saturdays when this comes out, there is Galaxy Next Door, there's Dangerous in My Heart, there's Hell's Paradise, um, you know, there's other isekai anime like Aristocrat, you know, so it's it's very, it's a hard recommend. So I would say give it, if you're, if, if episode one, you know, give it a watch, and if it piques your interest a little bit, I would say give it episode two. If that one doesn't do it, I would say just drop it. I would say if, the, if your interest is still kind of peak, give it an episode three. And at that point, make a decision to drop it or or not drop it. For me, I don't I don't know if I continue with this one. I think this might be a good anime. This might be a good one to have in the box that I would call, I'm going to watch this at the end of the season and I'll just binge the whole thing. Because I feel like there's going to be some dud episodes and i feel like this would be much well deserved if we just binge it all at once when episode 12 or how many episodes is this one getting it's getting 12 episodes so i think one, once episode 12 comes out and releases i think this might be a good one or a good candidate uh to kind of watch all at once now the other reason you might want to watch it you know is this this also is put in the harem category so it sounds like we're going to have Yuha and Alka, and it sounds like there might be some other girls who show up as well. So if you're just, you know, if you're just in for a good harem anime, this might be a good candidate for that. So those are my thoughts. I was, you know, my, my final recommendation is maybe just put this in the box of still watch it, but when the episodes kind of stack up. Uh, or second recommendation, give it episode two, give it episode three, and let's see if it really hooks us. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you for watching this video. Of course, as always, check out the videos on screen, and I'll see you in the next one.